Republican Senator Roger Marshall joins us now. Mr. Senator, Karen Jean-Pierre says Republicans refuse to act. Would you deal with that, please? Well, I think Americans know better than that, that this is another lie from the White House. Yep. The president controlled all three, uh, the, the White House, they controlled the Senate, the House, and they never really brought a serious bill to the floor. Look, they want this problem. That's what your, your listeners need to understand. Joe Biden wants this problem. He thinks that these people turn into voters for his party. He's willing to sacrifice 300 Americans a day dying, dying from fentanyl poisoning in order to achieve his goals. Think about this. There's 170,000 people waiting at that border to get into the United States. That would be the third largest city in Kansas. And as you just pointed out, our systems are overwhelmed. I've been there three times, and I've done humanitarian work all over the world. Look, as a physician, I've never seen a worse situation, uh, certainly in this hemisphere. Uh, it's a tragedy. Joe Biden owns this. Joe Biden created this humanitarian disaster. It seems like the border is moving north like it's a state line and city line at the border now because they're trying to bus these folks to different states and different cities and some of them are saying no we can't take this we can't cope can you see clashes coming at the state line or the city line as the people are turned away can you see this coming you know, absolutely, and communities are going to revolt. Look, Americans have a huge heart, but take my little community of Great Bend, Kansas, 15,000 people. If we had 100 refugees land in Great Bend today, it'll be a stress on our resources, but to have thousands would be next to impossible. Uh, and this is why, you know, you see the state of Texas activating, what, 10,000 guardsmen, and even they are not going to be able to control the problem. The president could have prevented this. It all starts with controlling the border. This is the number one national security issue th threatening America today. Can you just look down the road to the end of summer? Look, can you just look down the road to Labor Day? What is America going to look like at that time? Well, you want to speculate? We're, we're right. So if we're going to have 10 to 15,000 people crossing our border every, every day yep. from now until Labor Day, what type of a stress will that be on the system? Mm -hmm. Again, we, we, we feel for these people. What, but what I'm concerned is I saw so much human trafficking when I've been at the border before, let alone the terrorists, convicted criminals coming across the border, along with the fentanyl. Uh, again, I, I bet we're going to see the number of fentanyl cases double. The, the addiction is going to go up as well. And really, it is just simply a stress on every community. Uh, Joe Biden needs to turn off the beacon, turn off the signal saying, saying it's time to come. Uh, Joe Biden needs to stand up. I don't know how he sleeps at night. Got it. Senator Roger Marshall, Republican, Kansas. Thanks very much for being with us today, sir. I believe you're going to the border later today. Is that, that accurate? Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah, we'll be there uh, uh, this evening and see for our eyes. I, I want to give those Border Patrol officers a word of encouragement, a word of yep. thanks. It's a, it's a battle zone down there. Yes, sir, it is. Senator, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Nice Thank you. I want